Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about 360 video and 360 cameras, what I think about it and uh, whether it's something you can actually use for uh, professional work. So as you can see up here, these are uh, just some of the 360 cameras that I have uh, used. Uh, these are cameras that I own, there's been others that I've borrowed uh, or rented. Um, and some of these I bought, some of them were sent in to me. This one actually that I'm going to talk about mostly, which is the latest one, is the Insta 361X, was actually sent in to me uh, by the company. They did not pay me to uh, review this, they just simply said, hey, try it out, let us know what you think. Uh, I have tried their previous one, which was the Insta 361, uh, and there was good and bad, but at the end of the day, just like with all these other cameras, uh, I just did not think it was worth, for me, spending time with, with these cameras. Now that all changed with the Insta 361X, and the reason is because this is, I think, the first 360 camera on the market uh, that is, it actually has, it's kind of borderline usable quality. <laughs> because these other ones, they were recording like in 4K, this one also records in 4K, the, the uh, Omi one. And it's not quite 360, it's a VR camera, but it's actually 240 degrees. This one is 360, but the quality just, uh, I think, wasn't even th the same resolution as what, uh, you know, Samsung claimed it was. Uh, at the end of the day, basically, for 360 video, in case you didn't know, you're basically recording, and like in this case, you can see you have these two cameras here, everywhere like that. Uh, you're basically recording on two different cameras. And then you're kind of wrapping that image around a virtual sphere so you can then, in a, if, let's see, if you have VR goggles, you can look around. Or in your editing software, you can kind of look around and pick your angle afterwards. And so that means that if you're recording, let's say, 4K fo footage, well, that doesn't mean that your final video is going to be 4K. It's, it's not even going to be 1080p once you pick your angle and once you zoom in, especially to that part of the, that 360 sphere. And so that's kind of the reason why, I would say the main reason why up until this point 360 video, especially in these affordable kind of cameras, just was not up to uh, the quality. This camera changes it because it's uh, 5.7K and I managed to do this and like, as you can see this tiny little camera. So you can record 5.7K video and I, I think this is like, it's still the bare minimum. I would definitely not go lower than that. Uh, so I hope in the future manufacturers of 360 cameras can step up their resolution. But I think this is like the bare minimum of acceptable resolution. Because I've tried again with all these other cameras and it just, it never really looked good. Uh, so with this camera, I've been using this actually as my sort of a home video camera when I've been traveling uh, with my family. And, and it's great for that. If you're looking for just a good home video camera, something that you can just click, you know, the record button and forget about it. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, the camera for you because it's very simple to use. Let me just show you. You have two buttons on the front. B smaller one is the power button. Bigger one here is your record button. So once you start it up, uh, right now in photo mode, I can just click it and it takes a photo for me. If I click it again, I have I can cycle through the uh, the camera, the video mode or the settings mode. So now I'm in video mode and again, press the record button and it's recording. And the great thing is, once you're recording, again, you're recording in 360, everything around, so you can kind of forget about it because you don't have to worry about pointing the camera and all that stuff. Afterwards, in your editing software or in your on your phone, you can later on decide and, and pick the, the angle that you want. Um, and maybe that's kind of how I'm going to break this down. I'm going to first just talk about the camera itself and then the post-production aspect because there's some very good and some very, I would say, bad things about uh, this camera and in general about 360 cameras. Uh, so as far as recording, it's actually pretty simple. Like I said, two buttons. Uh, you see all your settings up here. It shows you the resolution, you know, how long you've been recording. Press the button again and it stops recording. You press the power button again to cycle to the settings and then press the big button to go through the different settings. So if you want to, you know, adjust some settings within the camera, that's how you would do it. It's pretty straightforward, as you can see, when it comes to recording it. And that's, I, th I think, how uh, especially a good home video camera should be, because you, it's something that you want to, again, set it, forget it, uh, and just kind of go about your life and let the camera capture all that for you. Uh, if you get this camera, I would highly recommend getting uh, this accessory, which is this kind of a selfie stick that they offer. It's pretty straightforward. You just attach it, but 
the big difference between this and like those cheesy cell phone selfie sticks is that uh, with this thing, uh, first of all, it works very great. You just turn it and it lets you extend it. It's pretty long. I can't even get it all in the shot, but yeah, it's pretty long stick or you can adjust it somewhere halfway. And then once you li like the, the length of it, you just twist this and then it just stays like that. Now, the good thing about the selfie stick and the, the software in this camera is that as you're recording it, uh, if you're holding it, like don't ever hold it like this, like some people I've seen them holding it like this and kind of like pointing the camera at themselves, don't do that. Just hold the camera away from you. And just really the only thing you gotta worry about when it comes to 360 cameras is pick your more or less your height or like your, your angle, uh, I would say, of, of the, the, the shot that you want. So if you want like a low shot looking up at you or looking up at these lights or at the camera, then you go low. If you want it to be a bit higher, just hold it up higher and that's it. If you want it to be eye level, just hold it eye, eye level. Um, because afterwards you can you can choose your basically where you're actually pointing the camera and your field of view or well, how much you're zooming in and out um, but the cool thing is with your hand I mean if you're just gonna be like if I'm recording here I would probably just hold my hand like this and then all you, you're gonna see in the final video is just my hand and then it looks almost like you're just you know like you have something there kind of like a little ball or something in your hand so that's the great thing is that the stick itself is not visible uh, so it's it's great in that way and it's and again it doesn't look like those cheesy selfie sticks of you know when people record themselves on their on their cell phones or, or even on a GoPro camera uh, so as you can see this is a pretty good accessory it's actually also uh, works as a tripod because the the handle turns into a little stand here you can put the camera and again you can adjust the height of it so uh, it's a great little uh, tripod for, for the camera. Uh, another thing you, you will actually get, this is included, is this little foam case. Definitely use this because you do not want to scratch these lenses. Uh, they're not something that you can change out later on. So you damage the lenses, that's it, the camera's damaged. But with this thing, it's easy to kind of carry it. It comes with those little straps you can put it around your neck. Uh, and it protects the lenses, so which is really good. The, really, the, when it comes to recording, I, I, I got nothing bad to say except one thing. And that's uh, the battery life. The battery life in this is about an hour for this battery. So uh, if you're gonna be really conservative with the camera, you're gonna just turn it on, record, then turn off the camera and wait until next time, then then I guess you can make it last. But if you're gonna be like me, where again, I use this mainly for home video, uh, then you know I just wanna like, again, turn it on and just press record and forget about it. And, and when I was doing that very quickly, like I said, or it seems like very quickly, the battery is just, done and suddenly the camera starts beeping and it turns off on me so that's the only thing that sucks there are now though a lot of battery options and that you can get whether it's from insta 360 or from other actually manufacturers with like you know multiple like a dual or triple chargers so uh i'll provide the links for that if you guys are interested um so yeah and in, in that sense it's uh like i said it's a very easy to operate and record camera now that's when it comes to uh home video but if you were actually planning to do 360 professional video i can't recommend this and i can't really recommend any of these uh, 360 cameras that's because 360 video is still not there what i mean by that is this resolution is just enough for like home video quality but if i wanted to actually do a professional project on this something that's you know could later on maybe be displayed on a, on a big screen or even if it's like a virtual thing where you know people would experience it watching it through a v vr goggles uh, I, I still don't think the quality is there and it's not even just a resolution which i think the resolution for like pro video i think it has to be like minimum 8k because again once you stretch that image over 360 it's you're really getting like one fourth of that of that quality so i think 8k is like i would say is minimum but really outside of that the main thing is just the controls because again, like I said, for home video, you want the controls to be simple. For professional work, you want to have full control over the exposure, over white balance, which you cannot do with this camera. And that's a that's a problem because if I'm, for example, shooting like outside where it's kind of more or less the same exposure everywhere, that's not a problem. But um, if I'm shooting, for example, here in the studio where this part of the studio has all these bright lights, but this part is kind of dim and dark, well, that's a problem because then the camera doesn't know how to adjust the exposure and either one part's going to be overexposed or one part's going to be, you know, uh, underexposed. And that's that's kind of the issue with it. Not to mention, again, like I said, the white balance. It's especially if I start mixing different color temperature lights, I want to be able to go in and manually adjust the white balance, which you cannot do with this or with any of these 360 cameras. Um, so that's definitely something that I hope uh, these camera manufacturers 
of the, you know when it comes to 360 cameras implement in the future now obviously you're recording in 360 so you don't need a monitor here uh, but I think uh, you still need to be able to like in real time through the app kind of monitor and there change the settings which you can monitor in real time this phone uh, and it's great for that but again you can just can't change the settings now that was going to maybe take me to my second part which is editing and just kind of working with this footage uh, the app that uh, Insta360 provides which is uh, both for iOS and Android is amazing it's like the best 360 video app from any of these other basically cameras whether these ones here or other ones that I've tried and that's because they just make they just make it simple but they also give you all these features that are really important what I mean by that is like I said outside of just from monitoring the shot you can once you're done recording you can connect this camera to your phone you can uh, offload the footage there or you can just view it actually live uh, through Wi-Fi uh, and then you can uh, on your phone actually kind of re-edit the shots but you can also reframe the shot so let's say if you're not going to export this as a 360 video but as a normal let's say 1080p kind of a you know 9, 16 by 9 aspect ratio or whatever other aspect ratio you want uh, maybe you want to share this on Facebook or, or uh, Instagram or your YouTube channel it's it's great working with the phone app because in the phone app you can easily kind of zoom in zoom out you can do your you know the little planet kind of a you know angle you can really zoom in on the footage you can pick your uh, where the, basically you're looking in that 360 environment uh, and you can also animate that you can set keyframes very easily and then the, the software will interpolate between between those keyframes and the video looks beautiful uh, but another feature that i really love in their app is that uh, you can sort of in real time record your kind of camera moves so you can actually kind of point your phone up and down left and right and kind of pan and tilt the camera that way but then with your thumb you can actually zoom in and zoom out and you can do that all real time while you're watching the video it's, it's really cool uh, so again for home videos it's it's amazing because you can again like I said connect this right away to your phone even you know while while you're there let's say you just recorded something cool and you want to share this to your Instagram or Facebook or whatever uh, and and the same thing if you're a social kind of a media guru or influencer and you want to again have some cool 360 videos that you can share right away and again this is this is really cool because you can do that on their app and it works really well and right from their app you can then it allows you to share on, on all those uh, social media uh, apps now when it comes to professional video again it's not something I would want to be first of all doing on my phone because I'm probably gonna have a lot of footage and I want to really kind of like see the details in the shot and you know on your phone you can only see so much uh, not to mention that when I tried using this for kind of more professional work on my phone I would record a lot of footage and then my I just didn't have enough battery life my usually because it, it does use up a lot of your battery on your phone but on my phones whether it's my iPhone or, or my Android phone none of them really were would allow me to get through all of my footage and then do all my reframing and then export all of it it was okay for doing it for a few clips but after that my, my battery would die or I would just run out of space on my phones so that was another problem because I'm working with so many files and so that's why for me uh, I need to be able to edit video on a, my laptop or on a computer uh, and I'll tell you right away whether it's this camera or any of these other three cameras working with 360 video these days is still not easy for professional work like I said because throwing it on my laptop first of all the files are just it's, you really need a powerful computer uh, and also then depends on what software you're working with because it's easier than you know, without some software than others Final Cut Pro I kind of find it's the easiest it doesn't you're not going to be able to natively load into Final Cut Pro but if you install the Insta360 One uh, a Studio app then um, once you install it on your Mac then you'll actually be able to then import the files in Final Cut and then you can reframe the shots and all that stuff uh, in Adobe Premiere you again have to install the Insta360 One Studio and then you can actually see the footage in Adobe Premiere but you will not be able to still kind of reframe the shots uh, if you're just going to export 360 video yeah you can you can do that in, in Adobe Premiere but if you actually want to do export like a flat let's say 1080p video or standard video and you want to just do the, your reframing you actually need to install uh, the competitor of this camera which is the GoPro uh, has a free plugin and that plugin will actually allow you in the Adobe Premiere to do your reframing and zooming and all that stuff 
uh, and um, and then then like I said you can work with that footage now one thing I found is it's still unless again you have like super powerful computer you're not going to be able to edit or play back that footage in Premiere or Final Cut Pro in real time unless you then render that footage into proxies so if, you know if you don't mind taking that extra step and turn you know going through all that rendering and converting uh, then then again you can edit that footage but otherwise it's just it's uh, even my like my decent desktop computer that I have where I can edit like 8k raw video from the the red cameras I cannot edit this footage in 360 so just be aware of that so you really are gonna need to do proxies and then that takes time and, and again it's not something that I want to be dealing with when I'm doing professional work and sometimes I, I need to quickly get a you know a quick turnaround from from when I record the video to when I actually edit it and, and get it out there to the client uh, so because of that um, it's it's kind of a again it's not there when it comes to the post-production aspect uh, and then if you're editing in a program which is my favorite editing program and something that I, I pretty much edit all of my work in which is DaVinci Resolve then you're basically screwed because you cannot get these files at all right now to work in, in, in DaVinci Resolve now that might change with time hopefully it will I'm hoping Insta360 can kind of create an like kind of a desktop app or program that they are kind of that they created for their their Android and iOS phones because if they can create something that's as good as that because right now when you're using their desktop Insta360 Studio program it allows you to do reframing but it's not really for editing and even there it's kind of it's not as smooth and not as cool intuitive as as it is on the phone so i hope they kind of they fix that i hope they add like some this the tracking fake feature that you can track objects in the in in the studio uh, program um so that would be really cool but also if they uh, just make it a really good editing so software either that or if they work really closely with that way to resolve or adobe premiere or, or final cut developers and actually make it so that this this kind of footage can be easily natively right away edited in those applications so that's where it's still lacking um, but again like i said if you don't mind just using this for your home video or like i was using this for uh, kind of my behind the scenes footage then it, this thing this thing is really good because i would usually just put it up on this little stand you know and again you can adjust the height of this and i'll just hit record and just leave it there so um, you know it was great for that now like I said the battery life is not great so you definitely want to pick up extra batteries I, I got these kind of actually off-brand batteries uh, that come with a charger so again you guys can check out the link for that uh, and if you want to get the camera then uh, you can actually get a really good deal because on Amazon uh, there's actually they're gonna have what's called a prime day so if you if join and you become a prime member uh, then you can actually get 15% discount uh, off of this camera or some of the bundles that they offer there with some of the accessories. So uh, definitely I would recommend checking it out then. And like I said, great little behind the scenes camera, great home video camera. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. As always, you can check out more information on my website, tomatosfilms.com. And while you guys are there, make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter so you stay on top of all the videos that I release posts you know little discounts giveaways that i do and things like that uh, once again it's tomantusfilms.com i'll see you guys in the next video bye